Howdy everybody, my name is Chase Noren. I'm from the Woodlands, Texas. I uh, did undergraduate at Texas A&M University where I studied aerospace engineering with a focus in controls, and I'll be heading to Carnegie Mellon to study computer science and robotics this fall. So my overall research goals are to get a better understanding of, uh, of an environment from the robot's perspective. So uh, in order for robots to operate autonomously, they have to not only know what they need to do, but they need to know what's around them so they don't bump into things or you know, they don't um, have trouble operating or moving around in their environment. So my particular goal for the summer is to have, uh, to kind of build the robot's perception and awareness of its surroundings. This particular perception building is uh, for reference to in-space assembly. So um, there's a lot of work regarding the moving of different objects, and so if we're going to start moving these objects around, uh, we definitely want to have the ability to know what else is in the environment. So if we're going to place it somewhere, or if we're going to maybe shift it a little bit, um, we want to be able to um, operate in that environment safely. So I'm supporting the in-space assembly work here at NASA. So we've been, we're still working on the whole concept here, but the overall idea is that uh, the robot is going to um, basically start in some unknown environment. Now it's going to know a couple things about its environment, uh, such as kind of where it is in the frame, it's going to know its configuration, it's going to know how many sensors it has. In particular, I'm using a LiDAR, um, but you could extend my method to do, use things like point clouds or um, different types of lidars. I'm using a scanning one, which means that I'm getting a plane of information, um, similar to like what Jeremy um, is doing right now. And so what happens is, is the robot starts, it knows a little bit about its environment, and then it segments that environment into a bunch of different search paths. And then the robot starts moving through the environment at different discrete intervals and builds up the height map of the terrain that's around it based on the resolution that we want it to provide. And based on that resolution, it might get a great height map, it might not get a great height map. And so it has to be able to understand what object it kind of sensed and then realize like, oh, I need to you know, make this a little bit better or maybe I need to make it a little bit cleaner or maybe smoother or maybe this is just a bad representation of what I have. So, in other words, we'll take the UR arms that uh, we've been working with since I arrived back in 2017, and then we'll be giving them these extra capabilities. So we're building out that uh, ability to sense different objects, and hopefully this will allow us to uh, be able to use that for a lot of different demos that we have here, whether that's um, some of the inertial transfer work, where we'll you know, scan the environment, make sure nobody's hanging out, um, or you know, operating in that environment so we don't you know, accidentally uh, you know, transfer an object into them, or if it's that placement aspect where um, you know, if the truss is having some difficulty being placed on the ground because maybe it's uneven, or um, maybe you know, in space that might be there's an object there or a satellite kind of a facing, um, we want to know where that is, and so you can place the truss a little bit better or a little bit smarter, so to speak, um, instead of having to worry about uh, having collisions or self-collisions with objects.